Are you nervous about adding a lining to your jacket? Then follow along with me while I take you through the steps of doing it with my own jacket to show you how easy it is. My jacket is nearly complete and ready for the lining, which means all the bodice pieces are sewn together, plus I attach the collar and sleeves. I'll go through the same steps of sewing my lining pieces together, which is almost identical to the jacket sewing process. But on one side seam section of the bodice, I'll put straight pins in an X about four inches apart. I'll sew a seam above the first X and below the second X, but not in between. The area between the X's will remain unstitched, so we'll be able to turn the jacket and lining right side out at a later step. I'll continue sewing my lining together, similar to my jacket, but another difference is my main jacket has a zipper and pockets attached. I can skip this part with my lining. After I sew my collar, I will attach my sleeves to my lining, just like I did with the jacket fabric. In the end, I have my main jacket and the lining as two separate pieces. Place the jacket and lining right sides together. You're only pinning the outer edges of the jacket along the bottom, up the side, around the collar, and down the other side. You don't have to worry about the sleeves, just keep them out of the way for now. Sew your pin sides at your sewing machine using your standard seam allowance. Remember, we had that specific opening in the side seam of our lining. Through this opening, pull both the jacket and the lining through so the fabrics are right side out. Once your jacket is flipped right side out, you can go ahead and sew the opening closed. So I went ahead and pinned that. If I was to remove my pins, you can see the raw edge has been folded over my seam lounge, which is 5 eighths of an inch. I have my needle and thread here. I'm using a contrasting color so it stands out easier for you, but obviously you wanna use something that's matching. I have my thread coming out of one folded side. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of the other folded side and you want your stitches to be on the small side and then gently pull that. And if you're grabbing more on the inside folded edge as opposed to the outside folded edge, even if you use a contrasting thread, you shouldn't see your stitches very well at least. So now I have my thread coming out of this side. I'm gonna go back to my first side, grab a little bit of fabric, gently pull it, and then go back to the other side. So I'm just zigzagging back and forth between the two sides until the whole opening is closed. I also wanna put a couple tacking stitches at the shoulder and underarm seams near the sleeve. This is looking at the lining. I actually pushed the sleeve of my outer jacket into the sleeve lining here because I wanna just do a couple tacking stitches, sort of stitching them together to keep the sleeve from twisting in on itself. So this is the shoulder seam. I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the underarm seam. I have some needle and thread right here, and I'm just going to push down enough so I'm grabbing the seam allowance of the outer layer sleeve underneath. And I'm trying not to go all the way through so this thread will show on the right side of my jacket. Again, I'm just trying to grab the seam allowance, so you're doing the best you can to just do a couple stitches. And if you do this with matching color thread, it'll look a lot better. And once I have about three or four stitches, then I can just tie a knot and then repeat the process with the other seam and then also with my other sleeve as well. At the bottom of each sleeve, pin and baste the raw edges together. My next step in my assembly would be adding the jacket cuff to finish the bottom edge of my sleeve and lining. See our video on sewing the jacket cuff to show you how. After that, all I need to do is top stitch around the outside of the jacket to keep the lining and facing pieces on the inside and to give your jacket a finished look. Here's my jacket on the outside and then with a nice lining on the inside so it has a professional look and all the seam allowances are hidden away. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.